Hey, what's going on everybody? This is David and today I'm gonna teach you how to play video games while having a girlfriend or a wife. We all know what it's like to game and have a wife or a girlfriend. You gotta really manage your time with both, right? There's a balance. So with gaming, it's easy to get carried away. So you gotta get some strategies in place to not game too much, right? To balance out your relationship and your game time. So in this video, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips and tricks on what to do if you got a girlfriend, a wife, or about to get one, and you game. And actually, even if you're single, these tips can also help you out as well. All right, so obviously gaming is a form of entertainment, right? Well, with any form of entertainment or really anything, too much of a good thing can be bad. So with gaming, it's really easy to lose track of time. So the first tip that I have for you is to limit your game time to a max of three hours per day. However, I would recommend no more than two hours per day. And the way I do it is to literally put a two hour time limit on my phone. So when the two hours are done, the alarm clock goes off and I know that it's time to save my game progress and click out of the game. Now, for the first week or two, it's gonna be a little weird. It's gonna feel like you're limiting yourself, like you're, like you're, you know, you're like, like you're a slave to the time. You're always gonna be checking a clock, and you're always gonna be like, man, this kind of sucks. This feels like I'm, I'm in jail or something, right? It, it feels like a, like a constraint. I know it feels like that for the first week or two. It's kind of sucky because when you're gaming, you don't want nobody to tell you anything, right? Yeah, so when you put a time limit on your gaming, it just feels like you're kind of trying to rush everything in into that two hours or whatever, three hours. Now, yes, it is going to feel like that for the first couple of weeks, but trust me, it's going to pay off in the long run because what limiting your game time is going to do is going to give you a lot of free time to do other things like hang out with your girl, right? And as a side effect, it's actually going to have you appreciating that video game more because you know that it you're not a slave to that video game, right? You know that if you start playing, you're not going to be playing until 12 in the morning and your whole night is gone or your whole day is gone. And you also know that you can get a lot more done and actually appreciate the game that you're playing instead of, you know, playing through the entire game in a single night. So not only is it good for a healthier relationship, but it's also good for you personally because you're not there wasting your time for a significant amount of the day. And in the long run, this actually makes you feel really good and it helps you to actually enjoy the video games that you're playing. Because obviously, like I said before, too much of a good thing is a bad thing. So playing too much video games can actually desensitize you to the excitement of playing video games and it can actually make video games less enjoyable. For my second tip, I don't recommend going to the game right after coming home from work. I know it's tempting. You've been kind of maybe thinking about it all day, especially if it's a new game or something like that. You've been thinking about it all day at work. All you want to do is kick back, relax, and start up a game. But I've learned in my own personal life that even if you are going to be gaming just two hours, that it's better to spend a little bit of time with your girl in the beginning. You know, come home, say hi to her, eat your food, Maybe watch that TV show with her, maybe the one episode or whatever. It doesn't matter. Just spend some time with your girl. As soon as you come home, ask about her day, hug her, you know, all that good stuff. Don't just straight away go into your game because then before you know it, it's already 8 o'clock, 8.30. She's sleepy. And, you know, yeah, you just came off the game. You're ready to watch a movie with her, but... She's already like on her way to bed pretty much, right? But if you have at least that, you know, first hour or whatever of coming home from work, just make it a point of contact to spend some time with her, right? In the beginning of you coming home from work. And trust me, that's going to make a significant amount of difference. Another tip on managing your time is to only play during the week 
or during the weekends. I don't know about you, but the reason I partially got into gaming is because I was just kind of bored of watching a whole bunch of TV shows or movies after coming home from work. And I just kind of wanted to do something a little more fun and also relax at the same time. And gaming kind of provides that, right? But you still got to limit your time. You still got to limit your exposure to that form of entertainment. So I like to do it during the week, two hours every day until the weekend hits. And then I go do other stuff. I'll go hiking to the beach, you know, spend time with my girl, go out to eat, go on dates, stuff like that. I'll reserve that for the weekend and then for the week, because usually I'm not really doing nothing fun during the week, I'll do the gaming. But you can also switch it up if you do fun stuff during the week or you got some studying to do, then you can just reserve that during the weekend, right? For those two days, Saturday and Sunday, you can game and maybe you can even game for a maximum of four hours. But like I said, I would recommend gaming during the week. That's how I like to do it. Just so you got something to do after work. But obviously if you got more important things to do like homework or college stuff or maybe additional work stuff or other hobbies, then yeah, you can reserve it for the weekend as well. All right, number four is to try to get a girl to play with you. All right, so get a second controller. Try to play games that both of you can enjoy. There's a good game called it takes two, which I try to get my girl to play, but she said her hands were hurting and stuff like that. And honestly, I tried. I couldn't get it to do it. But maybe you can have better success. And then maybe you guys can even have your own setups and play together in multiplayer games. I mean, how much fun would that be? That's even more fun than watching movies together, right? Doesn't always work out that way, but at least give it a shot. Get a second controller from eBay or something like that for like 35 bucks, you know, some open box one, try it out. If it doesn't work out, just sell the controller. That's what I did. And for me, it didn't work out, but maybe for you, you'll have better luck with that. All right, number five is to play on a console. And the reason I say that is because it takes less time to get into a game if you're on a console, like the PS5, for example, or the Xbox Series X, S, all you got to do is just have an arrest mode it auto updates everything in the background and then you just hit the home button on your controller it turns on your controller or your console rather and gets you right into a game with quick resume so you're gaming within like 30 seconds whereas pc gamer you've got these windows updates driver updates the launchers don't always launch you got to log into the launchers you got all these different tweaks you got to go through. Sometimes games crash, so you got to go back on the mouse and keyboard. It definitely takes more time to get into a game on a PC. For me, I do play on PC right now, but I found a way to make it more console-like. If you want to learn how, that's going to be in the description below. But it's it still took me hours to get there, right? Of tweaking and all that. So it's definitely easier to get into gaming into a game if you're on a console. It's just a much faster and more convenient experience. You're not gonna have as much of a good experience playing a game obviously as a $2,000 computer because let's be honest, it's not as powerful as a $2,000 computer, but at the same time, it is the easiest and fastest way to, way to get into gaming. And maybe that matters to you if you only have two hours of game time a day, right? And on that, I would also suggest to try out handheld gaming. You know, Steam Deck, Asus, ROG Ally, Lenovo, Legion Go, Nintendo Switch. Try those out because you can kind of game with your girl while she's like watching her show or something like that. You can just like lie next to her or sit next to her with headphones on. And it's kind of like spending time with her, right? You're still in a very close proximity with her and you're gaming at the same time. So it's actually a lot better than, you know, being in your own separate room gaming and then she's watching her own TV show in a whole nother room. That's definitely not spending time with each other. But with handheld gaming, you know, it's at least you're half, halfway there. You're already in the same room with her. You're already chilling with her. Right? Even when I go to bed, 
you know, if she's like, hey, I'm going to bed, instead of, you know, being on your Xbox until midnight, maybe you can just be on your handheld until midnight, but at least you're like lying right next to her, right? So it's a lot different with a handheld than it is with a console. But obviously handheld gaming is not for everybody. And me personally, that's not really my thing. But if you're okay with casual gaming, handheld gaming is totally worth it because of the fact that you can be with your girl. And also it's portable as well, right? Maybe you can't really game when you're at home, but you can game when you're outside of home. And that gives you an avenue to do that. So that's pretty much all I got. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. If you got some tips of your own, let me know what your thoughts are. Thank you guys for watching. Like this video, subscribe, and have a great day. See you later.